Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in. So the Rimmel thing has become a mini series. I wanted to carry on with one more video because I wanted to focus in on the Stay Matte stuff today because this is a pretty special, I think kind of unique drugstore foundation as well. And I thought I could carry on with the whole Stay Matte family of things for a face routine today and maybe do a little wear test and just kind of take you throughout the day and see how it wears because let me tell you this combo I haven't wanted to put this combo down this has worn so amazingly well on me every day I've put it on hi honey love you it's really early. You gotta go back to bed, though. Seriously, I feel like my skin has not looked this pretty in a long time in a foundation. Um, and if you want to see it in action, please go back and watch the Rimmel video. I feel like that video was a full-on education on Rimmel. And so many of the things were so surprisingly good. But yeah, it really prompted me to want to go into the Stay Matte. I had this foundation and light buff. And of course, I had this that I was using in the other video. But I did purchase the Stay Matte Concealer in porcelain. I think somewhere along the line I had this stuff, but I really want to assess it today along with this um, face routine. We're going to start out with the primer. Like I said, the primer has been good. It says shine controlling, pore minimizing, hydrating feel, and smooth skin. And I feel like it does all that stuff. Like it is not too drying. I use about that much. I feel like it has an impact on the look of pores. When you put it on, it does not immediately feel dry, nor does it feel dry after it sits there for a little while. Like it just has a beautiful spread and glide. Um, I wish I could have gotten the Stay Matte setting spray, but they didn't have it in stock. But yeah, this is not like brand new stuff either. This on Rimmel's own website is being promoted as new. But this Stay Matte has been around for a long time. I just thought it was relevant to talk about on my channel since I did the whole video on a lot of Rimmel and I thought, let's just share this face routine. So again, I have the shade Light Buff. This is a full coverage mattifying foundation. If you're not familiar with this, um, the way I would describe it is Dream Matte Mousse with a little extra moisture put into a tube. It's very moussey and it's definitely something that without a doubt I want to blend this in with a beauty blender. So I've squeezed out a fairly small amount and I'm gonna just dab it and kind of like finger paint it around on the skin. And you see how when I squeezed it out, it was just like a little dollop of mousse, okay? Yes, hi biscuits. I've been getting interrupted left and right this morning, okay? So we just got that patched around. I actually have a decent amount extra. Oh gosh, it's on my thumb too. This is just a Milani blending sponge. It's just in my rotation of sponges that I use. And as you dab over that, you can see you're really getting a full coverage look with this stuff. I mean, you could do it with a brush if you really wanted to, but I just feel like it's going to have a tendency of looking thicker. And when you blend it in with a sponge, you at least, you give it that ability to look a little more skin-like, even though it is a full coverage foundation, you know? Now, I haven't gotten a ton of this up around the eye area, and that's kind of by design. I, again, know that this is a thicker formula foundation. I have a separate concealer to use, but as for the rest of the face, I'm very full coverage. And it definitely is matte, you know? I'm not shining at all. So super duper even. I've got a kind of a mega freckle or beauty mark right here. And that pretty much shows through no matter what. But even that has been toned down quite a bit. And other lighter freckles are just not visible. Now we're gonna take the Stay Matte Concealer. I got the lightest shade in this. It seemed like it all ran a little dark. This is the shade Porcelain. It says long wear formula conceals and hides dark circles and imperfections whilst controlling shine for up to 24 hours. So we are gonna use this around the under eye. It says you can do that. It feels thin light, really. I'm just dabbing it all around. And instead of jumping right into that with this blender sponge, I am going to spread it out with the small end of my e.l.f. duo brush here. And yeah, I was hoping this would be brightening. And we're just smoothing it around. And in the last video, I used the Rimmel Multitasker Concealer, which I thought paired absolutely beautifully with the Lasting Finish Foundation. That whole complexion routine was just a stellar combo. So I'm eager to see what we think of this concealer because this is kind of the new element to me among this Stay Matte stuff. Got it blended all up around the eye area and like I said I went 
really light, if not kind of non-existent on foundation up in there because I know it is just a thicker foundation and it doesn't really do any favors to the under eye. But this seems like it's done actually rather well. It does not look heavy. Um, my blending method, I think, is pretty darn good to spread it out, thin it out, and then just dab over it to preserve coverage. I'm not even in a place where I feel like I would need to build that coverage anymore, and this probably felt even a little bit thinner than the Multitasker. Multitasker felt thin as well. As I just look at things, I think the Multitasker concealer might have packed in a little more coverage. I might give one more dot over here, one more here. I think there's a little more coverage in that one, but this is still working rather well. And I'm just kind of brightening up this little zone here with one small added dot. Okay, I'm really happy with the way the complexion's looking right now. It's only half the story. The other half is how does it wear throughout the day. That's really important to me. But right now it is looking really good. And I'm liking how this shade definitely brightened me up on the under eye, didn't dull me down at all. And then I guess the last step of this little four part stay matte routine would be the stay matte pressed powder, which I have in the shade Creamy Natural. This was used in my Rimmel video that I just did, but this powder, very, very firm. You put a brush in, it does not kick up a cloud, okay? You are paced by the nature of this powder and how firmly pressed it is. So you're never gonna overdo it. It's a true pressed powder. It is not like powder foundation. It it just gives you the lightest amount. And here I can tell that this is mattifying even more, perfecting the skin even more, but it's a super light powder and I'm not getting much on at all. And that's kind of the beautiful thing about this. It still will do the work. It will still act as a powder on your skin. You just never feel like you're getting on too much. It's not a baking powder. It's not something that's going to overload you at all. So I'm not gonna go anywhere else on the face with that. I just went over under eye and lightly over T-zone. So that, my friends, is the Stay Matte face routine. I'm gonna finish my look and then I will check back in. All right, guys, here's my finished look. I will let you know everything else I put on my face. I used Rimmel Natural Bronzer, and then I um, maybe picked up a new Rimmel blush. <laughs> got a couple other Rimmel things this past weekend. The Maxi Blush, um, you guys recommended the shade Third Base, and it is a satin finish. Definitely softer blush than the other two that I showed in the last video, and it's beautiful. It totally shows. It's just like soft, peachy. I really like it. I also used a little bit of highlighter from Essence. This is called the Highlighter in the shade Staggering. I just really lightly popped this on the tops of my cheeks. Just a little bit. I didn't want to like totally take away from the stay matte vibe because I'd be doing check-ins throughout the day and I didn't want to totally alter what's going on with the matteness. <laughs> Although on a typical day, definitely go ahead and do what you want to do. On my eyes, I thought I could cover a little unfinished business from my Magnify's Nude Edition palette. So I used this in the full Rimmel video and I was mentioning how they had these nice smoky shades at the end. So that is what I used today. I set up the crease with that little started out color, added a little bit of this matte and then basically worked with those two just for a really soft gray eye. I I could have gone harder with those colors, but I just kept it kind of above the eye and easy today. I use Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Eyeliner. And this is like a chubby stick that I use as lazy liner. Um, I just think they're so easy to throw across the lash line, and this is the soft black shade. So that is across my upper lash line, and then I used my Kind and Free Mascara from Rimmel, which I am loving. It's in the light blue tube. It is absolutely great for length, for building thickness, it does so quickly. I really like the design of the brush because it has some little light blank spaces where you are purely getting product on your lashes, but then a lot of bristles too that help it go through. So that's on my upper, Cali Ray, Come Heller High Water on the lower lashes, and then um, a new Stay Glossy lip gloss. I believe the shade is called Date Night. It's number 290, and it's just a super shiny kind of I mean, it looks like a soft mauve color. If you look really closely at it, you can see a slight bit of shimmer, but this is only this gloss. I wanted you to see what the color was because it's kind of pretty on its own. Kind of your lips, but better glossier type of vibe. So I have set alarms on my phone, so I will be able to check in multiple times throughout the day and we can see if we are staying matte with this stuff. Because like I said, I've been wearing my lasting finish constantly. I have loved the way this is worn on my skin. It stays looking beautiful throughout the day. Some of you might 
I said, well, you should have thrown in a wear test at the end of the last video, but honestly, I've been wearing it for days and I just knew, like, and I was able to tell you guys, this does wear really beautifully. This stuff, I feel like I'm kind of re-experimenting. I used this a long time ago and I really want to check it out with the entire Stay Matte range being used alongside it. One thing I can tell you right now, like this has been freshly applied, but I'm looking up close on my under eyes and I feel like I can just see the the texture there a little bit more. It's not really about like, oh, there's tons and tons of wrinkles under there, but it's just like the texture of the skin, and it doesn't feel super duper dry to touch it. Like, it doesn't feel overly powdered, but the texture there just looks a little more visible. Just compared to what I've been seeing with the combo of this, multitasker and this over the last several days but we will see how it does throughout the day sometimes as product sits on your skin it can actually develop a slightly more natural look the heat of your skin and the wear can actually help certain foundations so we'll see what happens but right now i am feeling a little bit heavier look on the under eye so we'll check in later thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon love you bye Hey everybody, it is 9 a.m. We are looking at four hours of wear here, and what I can see now is my nose really does not look oily, but I can't see through to the tiny zit that was there earlier. Um, my under eye area just looks kind of dry and a little bit just thick with product, and I don't feel like I over applied the concealer, but I just don't think it's as high a quality concealer as the multitasker one. And all over my face, things are looking pretty good, actually, really even and and fairly natural for as full coverage as that foundation is. My biggest problem factor is just that under eye area because I feel like I'm seeing product more than I usually would. So we'll check in in another four hours. Hey guys, we are now at eight hours of wear, one o'clock in the afternoon, and I did um, apply some lip stuff. This is my Glow Paradise in the shade Nude Heaven, um, but no touch-ups on the complexion stuff. I can see even more shine on my nose, but all in all, I feel like the rest of the face is looking good. Um, if I again look up at the under eye, I can just see a little more like the crease under my eye. It just kind of looks like collected product there more than it would on another day with a different product. I just think that Stay Matte Concealer is maybe not ideal for the under eye and that's just something you want to be aware of. Now I don't feel oily here on the tops of my cheeks, but I'm seeing a bit more of that natural glow coming through. Hey guys, does it feel like I've looked like a totally different person each time I've logged on? This is now just over 12 hours of wear. Um, I feel like it's stayed a lot the same all over the main surface of my face. A little shiny around the nose. Again, I haven't touched this up once. A little thick looking on the under eye and actually looking just a little bit patchy perhaps also around the sides of the nose. I think that would have been improved if I would have set it with some powder maybe midday. So I would say the takeaway on this foundation, does it stay matte? I think it would probably depend on the overall oiliness of your skin. You know, how much of a battle are you giving this foundation? My skin can get a little little bit oily in the t-zone but not super oily i'm pretty normal i feel like with my skin and i don't think i gave this foundation too much trouble today but like i said could have used a touch up around the nose that's pretty much the only area that i think didn't wear the best and then the under eye i attribute some of that to the concealer so um, i probably better get back in there there's some drama in the next room <laughs> but i will see you guys next time bye